Manchester City had their two-year ban from the Champions League overturned this morning by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Now, the full written rulings of this are going to come out in the coming days ahead, but we do have a little few bits and pieces that we can talk through about it. And I wanted to start off by clarifying one of the reasons that I'm aware of that Manchester City had this overturned. Now, there are so many things that we could talk about in this. There's so many viewpoints, some are opinions, some are fact. Here's what I know about it. And again, I'm open to being corrected on anything because I'm not claiming to be an expert by any stretch of the imagination. But one of the, the things that we've seen from Cass was that um, Manchester City were potentially in breach of FFP. Now, one of the reasons why that was overturned was because some of the things were done outside of the five-year statute of limitations that UEFA themselves have got in their rule book or their guidebook that are handed out to clubs. And like any other statute of limitations, if stuff happens outside of that five-year period, particularly for this situation, it can't be investigated because it's gone past the five years that UEFA themselves should have been aware of. So we've that to start with, but... There is something that today that came to my attention that I wanted to read out to you guys because it comes from somebody who is a lot better uh, clued up on this situation than I am. Um, I want to talk about my own personal viewpoint as well and that is, actually, you know, I'll start off with my own personal viewpoint and that's with regard to the sponsorship and the payments that Manchester City received. Now, I can't say if they are or are not legitimate or if they did or did not come from legitimate sources but what I can say is Ask yourselves this, do you believe that Manchester City are more of an attractive proposition than Liverpool, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich? Clubs that have fan bases around the world, clubs that are steeped in history that you can't go to any corner of the planet without seeing one of these club shirts. There is no way that anybody is ever going to convince me that Manchester City are more of or even level of an attractive proposition than these clubs around Europe. So that's one thing that, that I want to get out there from my own personal viewpoint is that I don't buy that for one minute. I don't buy for one minute that in the, the current commercial market that companies looked at Manchester City and thought, well, they have a massive global reach. Let's throw serious tons of money at them because they have fans all around the world. I'm sorry. I think even the most ardent Manchester City fan would have to admit that they've nowhere near the fan bases that the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Arsenal, whoever you pick. Clubs that are established, clubs that are steeped in history, clubs that have won competitions. Well, of course, Manchester City won competitions, but I mean won competitions over the, the course of their history as a club. Um, and I just don't buy it. I'm sorry, I just don't buy that Manchester City are an attractive proposition for sponsors with regard in comparison to the likes of Liverpool United. Now, that's just my own personal viewpoint. And I've always said, whatever happens with the Court of Arbitration for Sports ruling, we'll accept, and of course we'll accept fully because... That they, the system is there and you have to adhere to the rules. And if UEFA didn't act correctly in their uh, pursuit of Manchester City, shall we say. And I'm trying to be really careful about what I say here because I am, of course, not a legal professional. But I'm going to move on to somebody who does know a little bit more about this. And that is uh, William Galliard, who was a former UEFA head of communications and was actually involved in uh, putting together the FFP rules for UEFA. So this is what he said. He said, with this kind of sentence from the Court of Arbitration for Sport, Manchester City can receive billions from the Emirates and the whole contest will basically become a tournament in between Europe and Saudi Arabia, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. I don't know, maybe China will want to join in. That's really the enormous danger that professional club football is facing in Europe. The 10 million euro fine is like giving a tip to a waiter in a cafe. The whole issue is the future of the game can it survive when money becomes just a contest between three middle eastern states i think there'll be a lot of dismay on behalf of other clubs because it leaves them unprotected including the english clubs when you have an owner who is in football because he wants to make a legitimate profit to be faced with a competitor who has the deepest pockets in the world and endless money is incredibly discouraging if i were a legitimate investor i would divest from football you cannot compete now that's coming from the man who helped write the rules of FFP, former head of communication for UEFA, William Galliard. He's obviously far more clued up on this situation than little old me. And you also heard the president of La Liga come out today as well and share his thoughts on it. And look, I'll let you Google those because it's not really for me to... Uh, to misquote somebody who I don't have all the information in front of me right now so I don't really know where to go with this one I'm sure you guys have your own opinions on it but I've always said whatever happens we'll move on and we'll carry on doing what we're doing as a club and this isn't really 
I want to say it's none of our business because it's all English clubs business it's all clubs competing in European football's business but um, it's not a shock to me put it that way I'd always believe that Manchester City would find a way of getting around this and getting away with it and that they we would then be in a situation where we all are clear that FFP is a joke and that FFP cannot be enforced in its current format. Again, me saying FFP is a joke is not me having a pop at Manchester City. If they didn't break any rules or they circumvented the rules and got away with it, have at it. I mean, it's not for me to decide on these things. But I think we can all agree that this was the test case. This was the one that was really going to challenge FFP. Manchester City got the best lawyers involved. The UEFA got the best lawyers that they could get involved. The case went to the court to arbitration for sport. And Manchester City were found to be not in breach. They were given a €10 million Euro fine. Um, you can read into it whatever you want, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is just the part that I didn't even want to do. Because I didn't want to be the Liverpool fan on here talking about Manchester City and the ruling today. But I think it would be... Um, silly if I didn't address it in some way shape or form so look that's all I'm really going to say on the Manchester City situation read up on it as much as you can the written ruling will be coming out from the Court of Arbitration for Sport in the coming days so keep an eye out for it and look I'll let you all make up your own minds but from our point of view as a football club we just have to knuckle down keep our heads down try and regain this Premier League title next season try and get back to lift that European Cup and let Manchester City worry about Manchester City and, and let the big wigs worry about these things because we're just fans. and um, We all have opinions, but you know these things are based on fact and law and it's for the professionals to have a look at. And I certainly am not one of them. So look, I just wanted to address it really quickly before I move on and talk about some transfer rumours and a couple of bits and pieces like that as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts, by the way, in the comments section uh, if you're watching this back later on. And of course, right now, let me know your thoughts as well. I'm going to dip into the chat before I go back and do some transfer rumour stuff. 